Put it down to kill it for now because I don't have a uh, kill switch. When it's engaged, I pop it under this hook. It doesn't pop out when it's. I want it disengaged. I just bring it up here. Bam. It's not really wearing a tire after I got it lined out. It's no worse than what it was before. I moved it over a little bit from where it was. So I rode it about five to ten miles already. Uh, just got to set up the throttle and maybe a kill switch if I want. I don't know, I like just killing it with that. It's pretty fun. Uh, set up the throttle. Because this was uh, just something I did for a video to, instead of trying to reach behind me, give it throttle in, record. That, was, that would be impossible while riding, you know. <laughs> so, I just rigged this up for my last ride here for a video for today and but I'll have a nice cable. I got a few cables. I'll put a nice cable here with the thing and a, another lever, like a brake lever, or I might use a uh, like a shift selector. Just take the clicker out of it. But I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see a, a lever, brake lever, or a shift selector for the throttle. I'll set that up. Uh, I think I might uh, just put a handle on here. The nice grip on here on this bar which I just welded it to the uh, plate that I made works great 
it actually starts uh, pushing the bike about uh, about right there so once it's down under that it's definitely got enough grip and it doesn't really slip unless if I get in some mud or something and uh, that's about it other than I took this U-bolt for a regular uh, engine kit this U-bracket is uh, what I use to mount here for the, the uh, disengage and engage positions put a little piece of uh, foam here uh, this is the brake The rear brake uh, cable that runs through there, it doesn't bind up because there's a little uh, tab like right here. There's our tab right here and that's what's keeping this from trying to rotate a little bit. I guess, I don't know if anything it would pull up on it so I don't know. It's solid though. I got them bolts pretty tight. Brake works great still. And there it is. It probably runs about... 15 to 25 depends if I'm pedaling it probably go up to 15 to mint max probably 20 right there coming down this road by by its own uh, power if I'm pedaling I put it in the highest gear probably get up about 25 maybe a little more I don't know but it's good it's geared I could change the uh, friction uh, shaft to a rounder diameter I made this of a seat post and the old uh, clutch locker for this motor I got a little gap in there still yeah but I could make this rounder make this rounder and if I make it twice as round I'll probably get I don't know 30 to 40 mile per hour out of out of this uh, this is about one inch diameter I think so if I go like two inch it should be about 30 to 40 range a solid 30 easy 30 probably 35 I'm about 195 pounds, so <laughs> that's with me not pedaling right there. Everything you just seen coming all the way this way. So, uh, like I said, just got a few more things to button up on it, and I want to get my water bottle holder on here and carry an extra uh, bottle of gas because this thing it's a really small tank. It probably it's just got one zip tie holding it on. I had to put some new fuel lines on it and clean the filter it was clogged up just now and I had to clean that out good but it does run now on full uh, throttle wide open real easy to tune weed eater to Remington I can't remember what size it is it's probably on like a 20 I don't know around 20 cc or something I'm gonna have to pull, pull the cover out and check it says on it I just forget it might be 20 it might be 26 it might be 18 I don't know but it pushes me around with this uh, ratio pretty good and that's all I want I probably want to use it most of the time I like riding bikes so I'll just ride a bike and if I'm getting tired or something I'll just crank her on have a little fun <laughs> but uh yeah I've just got to set my throttle and put me a grip on here uh geez. And that's about it. I just it only took me about 20 30 minutes to set all this up today, and a few hours worth of work in it total. And I like it just for what it is. And it will go higher, but it don't need to go that high to disengage. It engages pretty much as soon as it goes past this. Once it starts engaging down there, it's pressed in pretty good. That's disengaged. And I can see that's engaged. Disen disengaged. Ah, engaged. But to start it up, just ride out and pop it down. Let's see if I can get it going one more time here. He's running.
kill it, I'll just come to a stop with it engaged and it come to a stop with it engaged and it kills it. That's why I said I really don't care too much for a kill switch for it. Just the throttle now. But uh that and mount mount the uh Mount me a, a water bottle holder here with extra gas because this I might get a few miles before this goes empty. It's about half empty and I only put a couple miles on it, so I might get five miles on it before it goes empty. But there it is. Leave a comment on how you want me to set this up with either a pull lever for a throttle or a, a shifter a selector for the throttle. If uh However y'all want to see it done, I got both things I can set it up. But that's it for now. Like, share, and subscribe. Later.